The NTF has attacked our warships defending the Gnosis. We repelled their first offensive, but the NTC Alexandria reached the portal and made the jump into the nebula. We believe the rebels are regrouping to launch a second assault. Command has positioned the GTA monitor to hold off the attack and reinforcements are on their way. The 64th will play a fighter role in this mission. The NTF have a few Zeus and Medusa wings remaining, so your objective will be to engage all rebel bombers and neutralize their fighter escort. The Colossus has engaged the NTC Vanguard and the NTC V Congreve. We will move the Colossus into position as soon as this battle has been resolved. Keep an eye out for the NTF Iceni. If this vessel emerges within range, you are authorized to engage and destroy it. Bosch has eluded our forces since he entered the Gamma Draconis system. Though we anticipate Bosch will either attempt to gain control of the Gnosis or enter the portal itself, be prepared for any development. This is the endgame, pilot. Bosch's Neo-Terran front has been crushed. Only the diehard fanatics remain. They'll fight to the death and take as many of us with them as they can. We have every confidence in your ability to get the job done. Good luck. The Aquitaine now has available the GTM-4A Tornado, a modified version of the Hornet missile. With improved fire control systems and guidance computers, the Tornado can fire more often and with greater accuracy than the Hornet. Be advised the Tornado will fail to arm its ordnance properly if aspect lock has not been achieved. You are also authorized to carry the new GTM-11 Inferno, a wide area fighter suppression warhead. The Inferno is a remote detonation missile. Hit your secondary trigger a second time to detonate. A HUD indicator will display the warhead's distance. The Inferno will release multiple submunitions with ultra-high explosive charges. Welcome to the Gnosis, Alpha Wing. All is quiet on this front. We repelled the NTF's first wave, but they'll make another run. We just received word the Colossus took down the NTC Vanguard. Affirmative. We'll keep you covered, Monitor. Those bombers won't get within two clicks of you. Roger that. I'm on it. Intercept Aquarius Wing! Neutralize the warheads before they impact the monitor! And keep an eye on the fighter escort. Don't let those bandits flank you. An Aeolus class cruiser has jumped in! It's the NPC Loyola! The rebels have begun to charge! That's a They've got a wing of Loki's flying escort! Designation Sagittarius!
Commodore. You are relieved. Great job holding down the Nazos, Captain. Roger that, Colossus. We're clearing out. The NTC Loyola is history. Excellent work, pilots. Incoming jump signature. Hostile configuration. Roger that. Danton has jumped in. Engage at your discretion. We lost 40 pilots fighting the Danton in Polaris. Support ship now. Please stand by.
pursue the Iceni through the portal. Negative. We'll send in a search party to find the Admiral. The Neo-Terran front has been crushed, pilots. The rebellion is over. Return to base. Yes, sir. I'm out of here. In recognition of your contributions to the GTVA's victory over the NTF insurgency, you are hereby awarded the NTF Campaign Victory Star. For your service in Deneb, Epsilon, Pegasi, and Gamma Draconis, the GTVA Security Council and General Assembly extend their gratitude for your service. Aikenbosch has eluded capture once again. Jumping in near the Gnosis was a risky maneuver, but it enabled him to reach the nebula. Rebel saboteurs on board the Colossus temporarily shut down fire control to give the Iceni a window of opportunity. These operatives are now in custody. Admiral Petrarch has requested recommendations for pilots to participate in an officer exchange program with the Vasudans, and your name is at the top of the list. You'll be an outstanding representative of our squadron, our ship, and our species. <laughs>